Hi guys! Sorry, I know this is a really awkward location to film. I'm like sitting in my kitchen floor with my kitchen table right here and I had to move this chair over. Um, my phone is on the charger and I got Lily sleeping in her bed and the birds chirped so loud in my room I didn't want to film in there so I am in the kitchen right now. <laughs> um, but I wanted to share a really important program with you guys that I hope some of you might be able to benefit from. I'm not really for sure. I hope you can because you know it's very beneficial. A month and a half ago I got online um, every time I take my kids to the doctor, their pediatrician always brings it to my attention about the Dolly Parton Imagination Library, and I never took the time to look into it, you know. But I did a month and a half ago, and basically what you do is you can register your child to get a free book every month up until they're the age of five. And I think that's awesome. I mean, there's no cost out of pocket from you, and... Um, it's a really great program. I mean, it it brought tears to my eyes when I seen these books in my mail today because I really forgot about. I actually I, I completely forgot about it, <laughs> and um, I really didn't think I would qualify, but to my surprise, we did. Um, so I couldn't sign Timothy up because he's nine. Um, but if you have a child that's I believe at the age of five or younger for sure, you can sign them up and you will get a free book based, you know, on their age, um, free every month. And um, I'm going to read a little bit about the program to you. This, I'm reading it from my son's phone, but this is what it is. Um, it's, let's see, in 1995, Dolly Parton launched an exciting new effort, Dolly Parton's Imagination Library to benefit the children of her home country in East Tennessee, USA. And most of you know, I live in Clarksville, Tennessee, which is just 30 minutes from Nashville. So I live right in her neck of the woods. Um, Dolly's vision was to foster a love of reading among her country's preschool children and their families by providing them with the gift of a specially selected book each month. By mailing high quality, age appropriate books directly to their homes, she wanted children to be excited about books and to feel the magic that books can create. Moreover, she could ensure that every child would have books, regardless of their family's income. I just think that's amazing. Like, honest to God, it, it, I got tears in my eyes because I, I think education is um, it, it's, it's, a, it's a necessity here in the United States and everywhere else. I, I think every kid needs this. Um, education is important, and without it, I would feel like nothing. And books and reading is the start of your education. I am really, really grateful for this program. Um, I like Dolly Parton even more. <laughs> Not that I didn't like her before. I like her even more. I've always liked Dolly Parton. But the fact that she has a found love for children, you know, to su succeed with an education, you know, I think that's really important. That's amazing. Dolly's Imagination Library became so popular that in the year 2000, she announced that she would make the program available for replication to any community that was willing to partner with her to support it locally. Since the initial program launched in the United States, Dolly Parton's Imagination Library has gone from just a few dozen books to over 60 million books mailed to children in the U.S. That is amazing. Into Canada and across the proverbial pond into the United Kingdom. That is amazing. That is so awesome. Currently, over 1,600 local communities provide the Imagination Library to over 750,000 children each and every month. Already, statistics and independent reports have shown Dolly Parton's Imagination Library drastically improves early childhood literacy for children enrolled in the program. Further studies have shown improved scores during early literacy testing. There is simply no limit on how far we can take this program and to what ends of the earth, but it is an absolute impossibility without your help. Your community or a community that you are aware of doesn't yet offer this proven early childhood literacy program, then we challenge you to get involved. It's actually quite easy to bring the Imagination Library to life in your community, and we have an onslaught of available resources to help you start a program, including a personal trainer, which we would like to call Regional Director. So come on, you can do it. Follow this link to get a simple checklist of what you need to do to get on board of Dolly Parton's Imagination Library. And just go to www.imaginationlibrary.com 
you will see what I just read to you and at the very bottom it's got a little tab where you can select your country right here and once you've submitted it then you should um, it, well it says dear friend thank you for your interest in the imagination library this program is one of the most important ways I know to improve the educational opportunities for children in your community and it's just a little bit about you know her background Basically, if you don't have imagination library in your community, you can register to have it set up where children in your area can receive a free book each month. It's so amazing and it's so awesome. And if you don't have this program, I highly, highly recommend you push it <laughs> because I live in Tennessee and it's well known here. I just never looked into it um, until just here recently. You'll go online and you'll register your child to see if they qualify most of the time, I would say 99.9% .9 of the time, your child's probably gonna qualify. I didn't think we were gonna qualify, but we did. Um, so today I got two books in the mail. Like I said, I couldn't register Timothy because he's nine. So I do really wish, the one thing I wish I could change about the program is that they could um, do this same thing for kids that are a little bit older as well. My son is nine and he's going through the Common Core um, TCAP testing and everything right now and I feel like reading is very beneficial and important to him even at his age not just kids five and under. Of course kids five and under it's a good start um, so I totally get that but um, yeah I just got two books in the mail one for Lily and one for Caleb and they each got the same book. It's a brand new book it's a hardcover and um, the books vary each month this is the little engine that could. This is the original complete edition. And like I said, I got two, one for Lily and one for Caleb. And I'm so excited because I love reading to my kids and Caleb loves story time. Um, Timothy likes reading books. So sometimes he'll read to his little brother and sister, but um, I'll go ahead and open it up for you guys real quick. And we'll take a look at it. So there's this little sticker here on the back with our shipping information, but um, it says uh, personal gift for Liliana Malice, and um, it's got the date of the month. So this is the book for February. Um, so I'm excited to see what next month's book's going to bring, um, but it's a really nice book. On the inside of the book, there is a page about the Imagination Library. Um, it's just like a little letter from Dolly. Um, it says, hello dear friends, welcome to the Imagination Library. This wonderful book, The Little Engine That Could, is just the first of many more books to come. I hope each and every book brings joy to your entire family because I am certain that if you love books, you will love learning. I want to share a few lines of a song I just wrote for the Imagination Library. The song is called Try. And then she's got the lyrics here. So I think that's just amazing. She puts her own little touch inside these books. And um, it's, it's, an, it's an amazing gift from Dolly Parton. It really is. And I definitely give her a huge thumbs up for that. That is just absolutely amazing. And I think I've said that a thousand times already in this video. <laughs> but I'm excited to show these to Caleb and Lily. Lily's a little young, but you know what? You can never be too young to start books, right? Because by the time she's five, she will have quite the collection thinking about one book a month for the next five years. That's 12 times five. What is that, you guys? You add it up. Tell me how many books that is. That is just amazing. So I'm excited to do this. Caleb will only get these until next year, but I'm glad I looked into it now. I wish I would have done it a little bit sooner so that he could have had a little bit bigger collection up to this point, but it's okay. Um, I'm excited to start now with them. So if you guys have any questions or comments, leave those in the down bar below, and I will talk to you all later. Bye, guys.